Creed 3 follows, well, the second film a few years after. And Adonis is now a father, of course, with the second one ending with him having a daughter. He has retired from boxing. But then a ghost from his past shows up in the form of Damien being played by Jonathan Majors. And that he says, you know what? I feel bad for what happened between us, like how things ended. He, Damien, went to jail because of something Adonis did, but then Damien kind of escalated the situation a lot more than what, where it was already escalated. So, Adonis feels bad for that, so he invites Damien to get his redemption arc. But this was all but a, this was all from his plan. He has planned this out from the beginning, so he can be like the top heavyweight champion in the world overnight, being kind of a big old egotist. And... Creed feels bad for what's going on, so he says, you know what? I'm gonna fight him. And he comes out of retirement to fight him. And, yeah. In the first two Creed movies, I love to death. Uh, this first way more than the second. The second, I think, is still pretty good. Um, in the Rocky franchise, it's been one that's really meant a lot to me my whole life. So with this third one, of course, I was looking forward to it. And this was directed by Michael B. Jordan this time, similar to how Ro um, Sylvester Stallone directed a few of the Rocky movies. Michael B. Jordan is directing this, and he puts a stamp on the film, in the fight scenes, in the cinematography, he has a lot of anime influences to it, he uses different types of camera work, he uses different types of editing to go with it, and that may not work for some others, but for me, I had a lot of fun with it, I thought those were really good fight scenes in the boxing rounds, they were really inventive, really cool, and a lot of fun. Let's talk about the story with this movie. The story is one that's very emotional, and it's much better, in my opinion, than the first two Creed movies, with, of course, the villain here. The villain is much better. The story of Rocky in the first one is much better than here. The villain here is just a lot better, because I don't remember who the villain was in, the, in Creed, even though I love that movie. Ivan Drago in Creed 2 felt kind of like, we're making a Rocky movie light. Here, it is much better. This is a Creed film through and through. Rocky's not in this. Due to some behind-the-scenes drama with Sylvester Stallone, one of, one of the producers who owns Rocky. So, it's really interesting going into this, having a Rocky movie without Rocky, like a movie set in the universe without him. Even though Creed 2 kind of left off to where, yeah, we can do that. And, which was good that they set that up. And, I kind of miss Rocky a little bit in this movie. Not enough to where I could get, like, actively angry about it. It was just, there were some scenes where I was like, he could come in here and give a little pep talk, I don't know. But this is much more of a Creed-centric film, and it was very good in that regard. There were some very emotional moments in this film between regarding Creed's past, for one, but with some characters from there, too. His moments with his daughter, his wife, where Donis like, wants her to fight back, and Bianca, uh, Tessa Thompson, doesn't want that because, I mean, she doesn't want this to be a whole big thing. Um... They have different ideologies. His mother is still holding grudges, who does indeed pass away in this film, which was very, very sad. Um, it definitely made for one of the most emotional film moments in the movie because I thought back to the first film and there were that movie opened, and it was just, yeah, it was very heart hitting. And that leads Adonis to give him to go after Damien. And yeah, it was pretty good. The, again, the fight scenes were great, they were really enjoyable. Jonathan Major in this movie as Damien is so good because he carries so much of the movie's, like, emotional core to where, yeah, he made a mistake. He didn't do what was right in that situation. He was just trying to protect Adonis, and he took the fall for him because Adonis, well, he didn't really mean to because Adonis ran away. So you get why Damien is mad. You get why Damien is upset. He feels cheated, for one, because Adonis got to live the life he wanted, and for two... It was the whole backstory there, where if he would have been the run, like been the one to run away, not Adonis, he could have got that. And it's just the idea of what could have been is what really holds Damien back. And Adonis is well, like, well, I mean, I'm helping you as much as I possibly can, but you're going a little bit too hard for one, and for two, this kind of stuff. Just if you force it to happen, it's just it's not going to be what you expect. Man, it's not going to feel earned. Um, and there's a great scene in this where after they fight, they are in like a locker room of sorts, and they're just talking, and it's very well done. 
If you have an idea that Damien might come back later in the series, I think that would be fine. To where he comes back more of an Apollo Creed role. Because they don't really reconcile here, per se. But, like, you wouldn't expect them to, with how much emotional baggage there is. But they do, in a way, become frenemies of sorts, uh, I guess. And, yeah, it works for a film. Um, also, the music choices in this film, like the first two, are incredible. They really do work here, like they did with the first two. There's some great callbacks to the other films. It's just, it's really well acted by Michael B. Jordan, of course, who also directs the film Expertise. Tessa Thompson does as good as she always does. Jonathan Majors is definitely the standout here, and he's had two roles back to back where he's been the standout with this and Ant Man 3, so it's just like, wow, dude, this guy has a future. I can see him coming up with way more and more stuff, and I would like to see him more because he's such a good actor. He is so good here, and I'm surprised Creed won by the end of this movie because, oh my gosh, came down to the 12th round, so I mean, made sense. In like the last few seconds of it, but still. And then at the end of the day, Creed 3 was a lot of fun. Really enjoyable. I don't think it's as good as the first film. Definitely better than the second. Could have used a little bit more runtime to flush things out. Some things kind of got forgotten about, like plot wise. The film is a lot of fun, though. It's really enjoyable. It's a good film in the Rocky slash Creed franchise. And I just can't wait to see what they do next with this character because, yeah, he's definitely become one of the better characters. Definitely, like, tied for Rocky, for, like, best character in the universe, which makes sense, because, I mean, well, that is the case. So, I'll give Creed 3 a B+. Plus.